Happy Holidays and welcome to the Breakout EDU setup video for the game, The Elf in a Box. The Scenario Tis the season to be merry and mischievous, and those silly elves are at it again. I don't know why they're called elves on shelves when they never stay on the shelf for very long, or stay anywhere very long for that matter. But the elf has messed up this time. He thought it'd be funny to lock up some Christmas cheer and decorations as a game, but ended up locking himself inside the breakout EDU box. Luckily, the elf left clues around the room before getting stuck in the box. Solve the clues, unlock the box, and free that silly elf so he can report back to Santa on time tonight. First, you'll need to decide between using option 1 or option 2 for the 4-digit lock. I'll discuss option 1 first. Option 1 requires a working knowledge of the Dewey Decimal System, and the students should know what a book spine is as well. For this clue, you'll need to make sure your school library has a copy of A Christmas Carol. There are two levels of difficulty for this clue. For the more challenging clue, print this page of the four-digit clue Option 1 Dewey Decimal and hide in the room or give to students. The clue directs students to look up the Dewey Decimal number for the novel. When they find the novel on the library shelf, they'll notice the number is 823.8, hence the four-digit code is 8238. The less challenging version of this clue requires a copy of A Christmas Carol as well. Put the clue inside the book and leave the book on a table with other holiday books. Students will notice the question, what is part of your back and part of a book? The answer is a spine. When they look on the spine, they'll notice that the call number is 823.8. Hence, again, the four-digit code is 8238. Now let's talk about option two for the four-digit lock. It requires no working knowledge of the parts of the book or the Dewey Decimal System. If using this option, you'll need a small lock box with a three-digit code or a small box with a three-digit lock. To use option two, print the Christmas I Spy handout and give to students or hide in the room. Students will count the number of each item and record it on the lines below. Teachers have two choices for marking the items that students should pay close attention to. The first is an invisible marker. Using the invisible marker or ink, circle Rudolph, the soldier, the gingerbread man, and the mistletoe. When students find the invisible flashlight in the three-digit box, they'll notice the circled items. The count of those four items make up the four-digit lock code. There are six Rudolphs, four soldiers, five gingerbread men, and two mistletoes. So the code is 6452. If you choose not to use the invisible ink and flashlight, you can print this clue from the Google Drive folder and hide it in the three-digit lock box or small box locked with the three-digit code. When students read this clue, it directs their attention to the four things mentioned in the clue, Rudolph, the soldier, the gingerbread man, and the mistletoe. The counts for each of these items makes up the four-digit code 6452. Remember, if you use an option two for the four-digit lock, that you'll need a small lock box or a small pouch locked with the three-digit combination lock. Inside, you'll need either the flashlight or the option two note. Next, I'm going to discuss the three-digit lock clue. There are two levels of difficulty for this clue, letter one and letter two. The letter reads, Dear Santa, help, I'm trapped inside this box. I can't get out. It's too hard. I'll be stuck here forever. Maybe someone can get me out. The elf. The grammatical mistakes are the code to the lock. Two, four, and one. To make the clue a little less challenging, use the second letter. You'll notice that the numbers are actually spelled out. Two, T-W-O, four, F-O-U-R, and one, O-N-E. So again, the three-digit code is 241. Place or take the letter from the L, half hanging out of the back of the box, but not so it could slip back fully inside. Now let's talk about the directional lock. For the directional lock, there are two options as well based on difficulty. 
The first letter in this file is the less challenging letter. It lists actual stores or locations on the map that the students will need to travel to and from. The second letter in the file is a little more challenging. Although the locations are the same, they are not explicitly stated. For example, it just says peppermint sticks instead of the candy store. Choose which letter you'd like to use and either give it to students or hide it in the room. Next, print the map of the North Pole and hang it in the room. Using the letter of errands in the North Pole map, students will move from the Elf Mansion down to the doll store, left to the candy store, up to the metals building, left to the post office, down to the navigation and planning building, and left to the sleigh. Therefore, the code to the directional lock is down, left, up, left, down, left. Moving on to the key lock, there are two options for the key lock. Option one is designed for use in the library. Hide the key on or by the barcode scanner where books would be checked out. Next, print the check out these stockings clue and hide in the library or give to students. Hopefully when they see the picture, they'll notice that the stockings look a lot like the barcodes on the book and hopefully that will direct them to the barcode scanner where they'll find the key. For an added level of difficulty, Use the second set of stockings that has the Noel on them, written in 03L, as a distractor. Key lock option 2 is better suited for the classroom. Hide the key under the trash can. Next, print the secret elf babble clue. Either hide the clue in the room or give it to the students. When they work out the word puzzle, they'll notice it says, at least I'm not stuck in the trash. The clue on the bottom, understanding elf babble is the key to unlocking the box, should direct them to the trash can to look for the key. The last clue to prepare is the five letter word lock. Print the hidden picture puzzles that spell S A N T and A. Also print the Santa picture and the Who Am I page. Keep in mind that you should be printing the student pages that do not have any color. For easy reference, we have shown you the answer key in the video. You may choose to use the puzzles with the letters only, or the puzzle with the picture only, or both. Hide the worksheets for the hidden puzzles in the room, or give them to students to make it easier. When students color in the letters and or the Santa pictures per the directions, they'll get the five letter word lock combination, which is Santa. Unfortunately, the five letter word lock does not have an A in the fifth spot, so students will need to use the blank space. So the code for the five letter word lock is S-A-N-T space. Finally, place the elf on the shelf in the breakout EDU box. Place the hasp on the box with the directional lock, the five letter word lock, the key lock, and the four digit lock. You may or may not have the three digit lock on this box. If using option one for the four digit lock, place the three digit lock on the big box. If using option two, the Christmas I Spy, place the three digit lock on a small lock box with either the note or the flashlight inside. Give the students two hint cards per group. Set the breakout EDU timer for 45 minutes and have fun trying to save that silly elf.